So before we delve into the details of designing a CPU, let's look ahead to see where we're going. This will help you see the wood from the trees and give you an indication of the route that we're going to take over the next 10 or 12 videos. So good luck. So let's take a peek ahead and see what it is we're going to be building over the next few videos. We're going to have a bus and it's going to be an 8-bit bus. So I've only shown one wire here, but there is actually going to be 8 of these. We're going to design something called a register and there's going to be 4 of these. This register is just a 1 byte of memory. So it's an 8 bits of memory. Now it's got a set and an enable. Whenever the set goes high, we can write information from the bus onto into the memory cell. Whenever the enable goes high, we can read information out of this memory cell onto the bus. So this is just a local storage cell just to contain information that we'll be working on. We're then going to go ahead and design and build a RAM. So this is your random access memory. So we're going to design a 256 byte RAM. So it's quite a big section this. And again, it's got a set and an enable as well because we want to be able to write information into a memory location and we want to be able to read information out of the memory location onto the bus. And we've got this thing up here called a memory address register. So all of that does is hold the address of the byte that you want to write into or read from. We're then going to design the arithmetic logic unit and this is going to have eight different functions in it so for example they'll have a full adder in it and it'll have a comparator a not gate an and and an or and there's several other functions it'll have as well so we're going to use this in order to operate on a couple of different inputs Now we want to control the information from the ALU onto the bus and again we do this with something called an accumulator. So in this instance here it's just the same as this device here. It's got a set and an enable and it just controls the information flow from the ALU onto the bus. We're also going to have a clock as well. So we're going to create a clock that's got a clock for all of the sets and a clock for all of the enables. Now, there has to be some component that controls the flow of information all the way around the CPU. And that's going to be the control unit. So really the control unit is going to be the beating heart of our CPU. It's going to control all of the sets and enables. So in effect, it's going to determine exactly how the information gets passed round about the CPU and also which functions are operated within the ALU. So the first part of the course is building up the RAM, the registers, the ALU, the clock, the accumulator and a couple of other little sundry items that I've not shown here. And the second part of the course will be looking at designing the control unit and the really interesting stuff and the real stuff where you'll get a real eureka or aha moment will be whenever you design this control unit. So this has just been a, a little introduction just to see the wood from the trees to allow us to see the roadmap to where we're going over the next 10 or 12 videos. So thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.